creature was an ancient evil entity and not a dog at all. Isn't a dog blind though? How is he just getting the ball that fast? What? How is he getting the... <laughs> this nigga should be blind. That makes no sense. Later in the void. What's going on everyone? It's your boy Savvy and welcome back to the Savvy Show. And in today's episode, I'm pretty excited because this seems like a, um, a older SCP and most of the time when they're older, they're usually more, you know, convoluted and cool and interested in that aspect personally for me. So um, I'm really excited to see what this one is about and just seeing what it looks like on the thumbnail is peaking my interest, man. This is SCP-023 Black Shuck. Hope I said that right, but yo, Black Shuck. It seems like a black wolf, but I'm sure it's more than meets the eye to just what it looks like. So after seeing that, y'all know the vibe now. We gotta go balls deep. So with that being said, if you guys are excited for this reaction, like always, please smash that like button. It really helps the channel grow and it brings more exposure to each and every reaction. So it takes less than a second and it'll be much, much appreciated. And also remember, smash that sub button, join the family if not already part of it. If you like SCP content and if you love my reactions, this is the best place to be to get your fix of scp heat and also remember turn on that bell so you don't miss an upload so with that being said i don't waste any more time man let's get this show started Alrighty, scp 023 black shuck lego if you ever take a trip across the pond to some of the more rural parts of the british isles you might just hear some tales of a dark shadowy shame a creature stalking through the night an omen of death it's an entity that has been known by many names, including the Grim or Black Shuck. Grim. Most folks will tell you the same, that this nightmare takes on the form of a huge black dog, but is also known to be able to change its shape. Often appearing at nighttime, the apparition is said to be demonic in nature. A dog that legit looks like a wolf. What kind of dog you're referring to? <laughs> Look at those canines, bruh. Commonly associated with the devil himself, Believed by some to be a hellhound like Garmer and Cerberus, guardians of the underworld in Norse and Greek mythology. Bro, what? The dog is far larger than your average pet, oh with God. big glowing eyes. It is also known to stalk crossroads, ancient pathways, and places where executions took place. Those who catch sight of Black Shuck are often befallen with bad luck. And for some, it can even mean that death will soon be upon them. Dang. Of course. So it is pretty much a different version of like the Grim Reaper, some way, somehow. Hmm, dark omen indeed. Nothing more than a bit of local folklore. Spooky tales designed to drum up tourism. But is the Black Shuck really just a legend? Or is there something more to the tale? After all, it's not as if a dog like that could really exist, could it? Enter SCP-023. Otherwise known as, yes, you guessed it, the Black Shuck. Much like the creatures from the stories, SCP-023 is an entity possessing a canine form, far larger oh than most God. domesticated dogs. SCP-023 is described as being shaggy in appearance, with black fur and glowing orange-red eyes, as Damn. well as prominent fangs. Through testing, the SCP Foundation has determined a number of the dog's anomalous abilities. First and foremost, legends have described the Black Shuck as an apparition or spirit, and much in the same vein, SCP-023 is able to pass right through solid matter. The creature can pass through walls seemingly at will, but does also seem to have a physical form. Okay, so this is definitely a Keter then. There's no way they could contain this. <laughs> At least when it is kept in containment. How? To prevent a breach, the Foundation keeps SCP-023 in a walled-off intersection of two corridors, sporting fake doors at three of its four ends, with only one real entrance. Why does the dog's containment unit require such a specific layout? What? Simple. It has to resemble a crossroad, even if this is merely a superficial resemblance. Remember that the Black Shuck of Legend often appeared at crossroads, a sign that would warn those traveling of their impending doom. Oh, man. As long as SCP-023 remains contained in the cell resembling crossroads, it cannot pass through walls. Okay, now that makes sense. I was waiting for like, how how is he still there? Okay, so it needs to be stuck in a crossroad. Should the Black Shuck ever escape this enclosure, however, then it will use its anomalous abilities to incinerate anything in its path. The dog can burn through walls no matter how dense, and will travel from location to location by this method. Wow. Also in keeping with the Shuck of folklore, 
Looking into the eyes of SCP-023 can hold potentially devastating outcomes. Should any person make direct eye contact with the dog, then death will be upon them. Within the span of the next full year, either the person who looked at the black shuck in the eye or a close member of their family will die just like a number of the legends state. Yo, so it doesn't even have to be them. It could be a loved one just attached to you. It's even worse, oh my god. The Foundation has no concrete idea how the Shuck chooses its victims, with no patterns or obvious preferences only that they will die a year after eye contact. A year. Researchers aren't even sure if SCP-023 selects its victims from the moment eye contact is made, or if this choice is made during the year that follows, or even if it is a conscious choice at all. All that is known for certain is that if you were to look into the beast's glowing eyes, there would be no way for you to tell if you or a relative would suffer the consequences, only when. In the past, the SCP Foundation attempted to eliminate an individual that looked into SCP-023's eyes, along with their whole family before the year was up. Like, how would you even know that unless he came to you and specifically told you? And if he did that, why would he do that? Because you guys are trying to kill his whole family. That makes no sense. <laughs> trying to take any potential victims away from the Black Shuck before they could be hunted down by the anomalous canine. Much like the way the creature passes through walls by incinerating solid matter, the way SCP-023 dispatches its chosen victims seem to almost be linked to the use of heat. The Foundation has conducted a number of autopsies on those killed by SCP-023, and their findings have always yielded the same result. Anyone killed by the Black Shuck will not exhibit any signs of external damage, no burn marks on their skin or any kind of contusions. Wow. However, on closer inspection, these bodies appear to have been filled in their insides were placed with highly compacted ash. All their organs and internal bodily systems appear to be incinerated by the Black Shuck, but somehow this occurs so rapidly that there is no notable damage caused to the outside of their bodies. Oh my God. To prevent SCP-023 claiming any further victims, the Foundation has another measure in place. The Black Shuck has been fitted with two spheres made of hard rubber, these are inserted into the creature's sunken in eye sockets, blocking anyone from accidentally making eye contact with it. Nice. However, over time, thanks to the heating effect of the shuck state, <laughs> these inserts will begin to degrade. Oh my god. When security cameras detect that the glow of SCP-023's eyes have returned to a dangerous level, Foundation personnel will have to replace the rubber spheres to once again block the creature's vision. However, this can only be done after sunset and any personnel tasked with replacing the inserts are cautioned not to look the dog in the eyes during the process, unless they want to become the Black Shuck's next victim. Oh my god. The SCP Foundation first- I wonder if that could work on SCPs, because it doesn't seem like it won't be able to, you know? Like, it works on humans if they look into his eyes, they could die after a year. So, if, say the shy guy looks at him, would the shy guy actually die? Or the indestructible creature, you know, any kind of SCP? Dang, now I really want to see a situation with him in front of SCP and see what will happen to that said SCP. Just came into contact with SCP-023 when they received information about an attack that had taken place at a church. While the location of this incident is unknown, if the legends are to be believed, the church may have been located in the moors of a rural region of the British, British Isles. Isles. While the church was in the middle of a service, the Black Shuck entered and killed a number of civilians in attendance. Presumably the members of this congregation had all at some point seen the large black dog out in the moors, or one of their relatives had. The Foundation stepped in and managed to capture the Black Shuck, giving amnestics to the survivors that had witnessed the attack. That's crazy. The damage done by SCP-023 and the deaths it caused were covered up as attempted arson. <laughs> However, the Foundation's trouble with SCP-023 was far from over. After the Black Shuck's capture at the church, the dog was able to breach containment on multiple occasions. At first, it had been placed in a standard containment chamber, but it was quickly able to incinerate through the concrete walls of the cell. Foundation personnel later discovered that the dog had settled in in an intersection between two corridors and realized that it had resembled a crossroad. That's how they figure it out, okay. So legit, this black shuck basically walked into a trap by himself, and that's how they figure it out. <laughs> These exact corridors became the basis for SCP-023's new containment chamber, and the assistant researcher originally assigned to the dog was reprimanded for negligence. 
During this and other escape attempts, SCP-023 caused the deaths of a high number of Foundation Here personnel. For sure. As a direct result, researchers assigned to it requested that the Black Shuck be reclassified as a Keter class anomaly. Yep. They also noted that SCP-023 shared certain traits with SCP-1111-1, one of the two entities that form SCP-1111. SCP-1111-1, also wish. referred to as the White Dog, possesses an almost ghostly translucent canine form and abilities wow. that focus on geographic space. In the White Dog's case, it will attack anyone it detects approaching SCP-1111-2 the body of an unidentified man hanging from a noose. What? Researchers working for the Foundation so believe that SCP-023 and SCP-1111-1 might be instances of the same phenomenon, Ying -ying. but have been unable to capture the white dog in order to verify this. Given the number of deaths the Black Shuck had caused, research personnel attempted to reduce the danger that they faced when interacting with the dog. They helped to remove the beast's eyes and teeth, thus making it safer. Remove However, it was eyes? during an attempt to do so that SCP-023 once again managed to breach containment. Yeah, I think he's just gonna sit there and let you pluck out his eyes and his teeth. What the heck? And one, are are these dogs immortal? Like, could they die or like say like you know they don't get shot? Or whatever, do they live forever? It seems like they're special like omens, you know, not just regular SCPs in a sense. And man, I wonder if they could take any damage too. They never showed us that, like for example be dish shooter or whatever he could just bounce off of him or anything i'll be interested in no too at first everything seemed to be going according to plan but when researchers removed scp-023's eyes the black shuck vanished completely from its containment area it? scp security staff scoured the area for it eventually tracking the dog down to a long stretch of interstate it is still unknown exactly how many civilians may have seen the Black Shuck as they drove past it, wow, but so now, far nine deaths are thought to have stemmed from this incident. The ghostly dog was recaptured, and D-Class personnel removed its fangs. Oh my After goodness. analyzing the times of incidents, researchers realized that SCP-023 had only been able to escape while the sun was up, leading to new containment procedures mandating that no staff member was to interact with the Shuck until after sunset. The interstate fiasco led to the doctor assigned to watch over SCP-023 being suspended and facing a disciplinary <laughs> review from his foundation superiors. Everyone that's affiliated with this SCP is just getting in trouble, man. This is way too difficult. The blame for the breach and security that caused the incident was placed at his feet, and a new doctor was placed in charge of observing the Black Shock. Damn. Unfortunately for this new researcher, the incidents involving SCP-023 did not stop there. The newly appointed doctor attempted to give the dog a pair of glass eyes to replace the ones that had been removed before oh the previous God. containment breach. Perhaps they thought it was a gesture of kindness, mm. a compassionate act, or maybe they just thought it would look cool for a dog to have glass eyes. No matter the reason, it seemed they had forgotten for a moment that this huge shadow creature was an ancient evil entity and not a dog at all. Isn't a dog blind though? How is he just getting the ball that fast? What? How is he getting the... <laughs> this nigga should be blind. That makes no sense. When the doctor gave the new glass eyes to SCP-023, they immediately took on the exact same properties as its old ones. Okay, good. They began glowing, molten glass leaking from the dog's sockets, and appeared on all reflective surfaces throughout the site the shuck was being held at. Whoa. Everything from mirrors and windows so to lenses eyes. and glasses, computer monitors, anything and everything glass. The Foundation suffered an enormous number of deaths that day. Even staff sitting in the cafeteria would have seen a version of those orange glowing eyes staring at them from the bottom of their bowls, marking them for a fiery death. What did they do with the eyes? I hope they didn't just throw that away. They should have kept the eyes at least and studied them. Probably used in the future to, you know, to end certain anomalies that, you know, are probably unstoppable. I'm just saying, they could do a lot with that. The facility was quickly evacuated, but the damage had already been done. Anyone that had seen a reflection of the Black Shuck's eyes would be dead within a year. Oh Devastated, God. the new doctor in charge of overseeing SCP-023 blamed themselves for dooming their research team, as well as the rest of the Foundation staff in the facility. When the sun came up too. over the horizon, a number of D-Class personnel were sent into SCP-023's enclosure, only to find that the dog had once again vanished. The only trace it had left behind was a puddle of molten glass burning part of the floor. 
A year later, any and all personnel that had gazed into the black shuck's eyes were dead, and their remains were buried in a mass, unmarked grave near the containment facility. Despite the doctor vowing to recapture and contain SCP-023, it remains unclear if they were ever actually successful. There is a chance that the Black Shuck has been gradually making its way back home to the moors of the British Isles. If so, we advise you not to travel after sundown unless you absolutely have to. And if you find yourself at a crossroad, then pray you don't catch sight of a hulking demonic hound staring out at you with eyes that burn through the dark. If you do, well, we hope you enjoy your so year. his eyes now are go back? check out SCP-1913 Deadly Monster Squad, The Furies. Oh, wow. I haven't heard of that one yet. I might have to check that out. The heck? And SCP-1313. The Hitchhiker, I already seen that one. But, um, yo, I need to read the, I need to read the, the actual file. Because I want to see if, if this was just part of the animation, them just taking out the eyes. Because if it is part of the actual file, I would hope that they kept those eyes to study them to actually, you know, make some tests with other anomalies to see if the property of those eyes would affect anomalies compared to, you know, just regular human beings. That would be really cool to see. But say, you know, he still has the eyes. I'll still hope to see this black shuck do something with another scp just any kind doesn't really matter i just want to know if his effect of like dying in a year by just looking at him would actually come true because that could solve a lot of the foundation problems with certain scps that they would just rather have dead hint hint the indestructible creature <laughs> so that being said i hope you guys all enjoyed this reaction if you guys did please remember to smash that like button also smash the sub button and hit that bell so you can stay plugged for each and every upload and unfortunately that concludes today's episode however I'll catch you guys on the next one.